So in this video we're going to learn how to place things on a flat surfaces using the plane tracker. How to place them, how to resize and how to rotate and stuff and maybe a little bit of portals as well. So as usual we start with the shearing effect. Then we'll add a plane tracker this time. Now what this has done, you can see down here it's put a little square. So this is where when it detects a flat surface it's going to add your effect above it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the room one first. So go to AR library and search room. So I already have it here. Um, usually you have to find something less than less than this geometry, but we'll just do it for now just to um, for the lesson. You can find any other one that you like in here. So then when it's downloaded, you drag it up to plane tracker and then you'll see it's added the room. Um, so first thing you need to do, you need to line it up so that the bottom is sort of where that blue, this blue plane thing was. Then once that's done, I'll move it back a bit as well. And then uh, as usual, I'll add in the description, there'll be a link to a folder we need and then add this cube occlude object and then drag it above the room. And then, so this is gonna be the hole that we're gonna see in like the portal. So you want to drag this back a bit and yeah, position and size it so that the hole is where you would like it to be. So I would say try to get it, um, I like it more like a door shape and also try to get it near the bottom. So the bottom is near the floor. So it looks more like a door. So something like that. And then what you need to do, you need to open this material of this. Change it to flat um, alpha and make the opacity down. Then you'll see it's made the rest of the room disappear. So then you would see like if you're walking in like this, it would look like it's a portal to another place. So I can show you on this view. So I can walk in and then look around like I'm in the room. So what you could do, you could um, select both of these and duplicate them again and then move them sort of away because they don't, they'll sort of block each other. So move them out of each other's way. And because this rotate isn't working together, I'll try add these to a null object first. So add object, null object, and then drag these both into this. I'll rotate it this way instead. So you could do this with two different rooms or as many rooms as you like. You just have to duplicate this whole scene again and, and then to rotate it, you have to add them to a null object first. Um, next, I'll show you guys how to add a sky dome around this. So you just literally go back to the AR library and search sky dome. Then I'll go for this one here. Import. And when it's done, drag this above everything else and then you want to make this really huge so that you, it looks like you're inside it so then what that's done is just added a, a big sky dome around looks pretty cool so what I like to do as well if the more interesting part is over here I'd rotate this whole thing so I'd bring more stars to the front find one of these that you like this there's, there's many available you can find sky ones um, anime it looks pretty cool actually let's try this one so here's the anime one that's pretty cool um, I'll tell you it looks a bit bright so I do I still prefer the stars one but it's cool it makes it look like you're flying above this world so this is what it looks like on a phone um, yeah you can sort of get closer inside Depending on your phone, you can sort of walk all the way in. Um, you can see as well the stars are a bit crappy. I'll try and find a little tutorial on how they fix that. It's because the texture compression does the 1024. Also with this one, it's just going to automatically appear when your phone detects a flat surface. So I'll, now I'll show you how to use the, um, the official Spark template to, so that you can place it. Um, you can place it where you want and resize it and stuff. So from the starting page, go down till you see world object here. So what this template has done is it's given us all the code and stuff. It's 
connected all the patches up to do the screen, screen scrolling and um, screen pan, screen rotate, screen pinch to resize and reposition this object. So all we have to do is where it says delete me and drag here. You just delete this object and then you can find any object in the library. So for example, let's say one something like a shoe. Let's do this stupid yellow one that we had before. So one that's ready, you can move this to drag here. Now I have the shoe appearing. So to stop it rotating, I'll just pause. Make this smaller. And then now this is the object that'll place when we tap the screen. Um, but if you don't want this rotate to happen, you can go down to this patch graph. Uh, actually click looping animation block and click rotation. And then just disconnect this rotation here. So that won't rotate anymore. There's going to be this rotating ring. So you can just, you can either just invisible it if you don't want or just leave it there. So now without the rotation, we just have a placeable scene. Wherever we want, we can drag and resize. So we could do the same thing. We could add the um, the room and stuff here as well in the portal. This is really handy for um, filters for businesses that would like to place their uh, product model in someone's room or on a desk or something. This is the exact way you would do it. You can just use this template and replace the drag their object to this area here. 